Hi! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chumi. I make videos every week to add value to you and to share a little bit of my lifestyle. Today, I'm sharing a little bit of my Amazon shopping with you. These are designer dupes. I've done one of these before and it went down really, really well. A lot of people asked me for more of these Amazon uh, designer dupes and a lot of people gave some feedbacks and stuff. So I've taken those on board. And I've found some things for myself which I really wanted. I've been thinking about it for quite some time but never really bought it, never really looked into it. So I found all of these things on Amazon and it's still in its boxes. I've opened it to make sure everything's in here because I ordered quite a few items. Um, I did quite a little bit of damage on my Amazon account this month. Um, but I compiled everything together, I gathered everything together because I wanted lesser boxes and lesser packages. I didn't want each one coming individually. So it took some time for everything to come together. I've looked at it to make sure everything is in there and I've just kept it aside and I didn't want to open it yet. So I'm going to do the unboxing with you now and show you what it is. I don't really remember the exact price from the top of my head. So I will leave a link to everything in the description box below. It's all on Amazon. Okay, it's really easy to find it there. I usually enjoy buying things from Amazon because um, I've got Prime. I only pay for 99 for it, for £4.99 pence for it. And it comes rather quickly because I get it within a day or two. <laughs> That looks quite nice. This took the longest to come, so the sides is a little bit bent. The box was slightly damaged by the time it came. So this is very similar to the Chanel. I don't know what this is. Keep it into the bag. I don't know what that is. So you've got this bag here, and it comes with a long strap that you can attach by the side. You attach it over here and over here so you can carry it on your shoulder or you can um, carry this like this. You know how with the lockdown, we now compulsorily have to put on a mask, you need gloves in some places and it's also getting cold now. So you will have a lot of things to put in your handbag. You can't really carry a very slim, um, small handbag that can fit only your phone. You need to put in a lot of stuff when you go out now. This is a good sized bag. I was looking for this for quite some time because all of my bags are really small. If you looked at my previous um, designer dupes and handbag videos and stuff, you know that my bags are quite small. It only fits my purse, um, probably a packet of tissue and my phone, that's it. And maybe a car key, that's all. Nothing else will fit in and I wanted a bag which is slightly bigger. Not too big and overwhelming that I can stuff too many stuff in there or not too small that it doesn't really fit much at all. I can even put in a water bottle in here. It's got two small pouches inside and it's like a purple uh, lining and it's got one zip inside. This I feel doesn't really open so well but um, big enough to you know for your whole hand to go in and put stuff and take it out and all that. I really like the design here. This looks really really nice and it comes in three bags okay it's a set of three you've got this one big bag and i really liked this this is like an envelope um clutch so you've got this lid here and you've got a strap so you can put this over your shoulder if you want it to or if you didn't want you just wanted to carry it as a clutch you put this back inside and you hold this as a clutch it's this thin envelope um clutch and it's really nice and you've got this as a card holder it has two pockets on each side so it's quite big for a regular purse or maybe even a small purse but you don't necessarily need to carry this out if you didn't want to but this will easily fit inside this if you want it to carry it together the second bag there are two bags in these boxes Oh, this is the Stella McCartney one. I was surprised to find this actually. I've never seen anything like this anywhere else. You know the Stella McCartney handbag? I mean, I like my handbags to have structure. I like, I like it to have its own shape like this, okay? Because it looks really good, it looks smart, and it's not sloppy. 
but this one, I wanted one which was fairly casual for, you know, regular use, weekend outing and things like that and I never really had anything like that. I kind of like the Stella McCartney design but never obviously wanted to spend that much money on it. And then I found this and I was surprised because no one else has it. And it comes with a zip, that's nice. It's got a leopard print inside and then it's got a zip that you can zip it up so whatever things you put in here doesn't fall off. And then it's got a magnetic clasp over here and it's got this strap. It's like a metallic, it's like a burnt metal. So it looks really nice with this black. It's not too outstanding. You don't have silver here or even gold. I think the website had um, silver and gold but it was probably a different seller on Amazon and I don't realize. It looks so much like the original one itself. It's even got this tag here. Stella McCartney had this tag. And it's got the plastic and I don't want to remove it yet. But it looks nice. This is somewhat like leather. It's like a faux leather. And the material is quite good. It doesn't look like it's the one that will peel off. It looks like it's waterproof as well. You can even carry it as a clutch if you want it to. Or put it around your shoulder or crossbody. I like this. This actually looks nice with what I'm wearing now. Oh, that is really, really good. I like this. Something that I wanted for a very long time for a fraction of the price of the original one itself. That one's a good one too. I am very pleased. And the third one is also a bag. I ordered three handbags and it, all three of them are blacks. So all three of them serve entirely different purposes. It's different shape, different sizes. You just can't compare. I mean, one black bag is never sufficient. Ah! Ever since I saw the Chanel top handle handbag, I loved it so much. And this is very, very similar to that. Really similar. See, it's got this chevron thing here. The original one would have chevron over here, I'll give you that. However, very close. The top handle is so good. You can put it around your arm like this. Um, I think it has a long strap also. It's got this zip over here. This is so good. It's got another long strap. It's got two compartments inside and it's got another zip over here as well. And you have a slip pocket for your phone. Um, there's another zip at the back. This is so many compartments. It's so good. It's really good. And there is a zip behind also. And you've got this long strap. This is super, super cool. It's far better than the work handbag that I bought, the formal black handbag that I bought the last time. And this is really, really nice. I like this. It's got its shape. Look at that. It's super thick. Even if you put very light items, it's not going to flatten out. Or if you put a lot and keep it full, it's still going to hold its shape, you know? And that's what I really like about handbags. It holds its shape and that's what I look for, for like a professional use. Okay, that's about it for the handbags. Everything else in this box are accessories that I've bought. Um, let me show you. This scarf is so nice. I've wanted the Burberry looking scarf for the longest time ever. And this is so good. It's not broad that it makes it really thick when you fold it. You just have to fold it into two and put it around your neck. There you go, I'll move the box away. There you go. That's so good. Look at that, it looks so nice. I think you can even wrap it around your neck actually and it'll still look good. It feels so soft. I believe it's going to be really, really warm. I am so pleased with this. The design looks just like the Burberry one. And then I got two silk scarves. Now with autumn and winter coming up, it's not really practical to use silk scarves at all. But you know how Hermes and Mer um, 
what is it? A lot of people do this, but Armas Mulberry and someone else also does this. They tie a scarf to the handbag handle to add a little bit of color and to add a bit of design to it, especially if it's like a plain handbag or if it's a black one, like the one that I got. Look at that. That looks nice. That's really nice. So you twist it up and then you either tie it around the handle. It goes around the handle like this, the top handle, or you can tie it up by the side and leave it like a bow, like a big bow, you know, if you knot it up. And that looks nice. So one for this bag and this is another one. It kind of looks very similar, but yet it's still very different. Well, this one's slightly bigger. It's really sweet. It's very autumnal color as well. You can even use this as a headscarf if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to show you on this handbag. I feel like this is a bit too big, but other than that, it's nice. So if you put it around this handbag, there you go. And then you tie it into a knot or you tie it into a big bowl. Let me just show you that. I think a big bowl will look really, really good. It looked nice if I took the time to actually fold it properly and tie it up properly. But other than that, it looks really, really good. It adds a little bit of color. It kind of, it will suit. You can find different colors and different designs to match your outfit. You've got a plain dress and a plain handbag like this. It go really well. See, you've got one over here like this and one over here like this. And the next one is a belt. I don't know why they put so many sellotapes. It's just so difficult to open it. I must say though, everything came packaged really, really well so that it doesn't ruin the item itself. Um, this is very similar to the Bottega Veneta belts that I've seen online. They have plenty of different designs, very similar to this. This belt is elastic, so it fits you. You don't really need to worry about the size at all. It will clench at the waist, which is what it's meant to do. And you've got a hoop over here. So you put it around and hook it up. Easy to put it on, easy to take it off. And it looks really good. They've got many different colors. They had, this is somewhat rose gold. No, this is actually lighter yellow gold. They had like proper dark yellow gold. And then there was um, rose gold and there was Silver color also, if you wanted that. that. That's how it looks like. It'll look really pretty with a dress. I mean, obviously not with what I'm wearing. Other than that, it'll look really nice on a dress, a plain dress, or even a patterned dress will look really nice on this. Oh, that's a vintage brooch. I like how I look at everything and it looks so good. Um, as if it's brand new because I've forgotten what I ordered. You know how those um, English vintage brooches? It's actually antique. You can hardly ever find brooches like this in the store, but this looks really nice. The finishing is really good. I'm very, very pleased with all of the finishing of all of these things. I'm glad I don't have to return anything. Uh, and these are the last two ones that I ordered from this package. If I'm not mistaken, these are the Vivian Westwood style accessories that I wanted. You know how there is this? Yes, it exactly is that. You know how the space um, orbit accessories is really in fashion at the moment? This is very similar to that. Vivian Westwood did the original design if I'm not mistaken. So it comes with a chain and a pendant like this with the space thing and it's got stone finishing in there and silver it looks really nice i'm sure you can't put these things in water if it gets wet it might lose color but it's not meant to be like a daily use thing that you um still wear it on while you're showering you need to take it off while you're showering and this is a earring it came from two different sellers i ordered it separately because i wanted it as a set the one thing I struggle with when I either buy a earring or when I get a pendant is to find matching pieces for it. So because I saw this, um, I ordered both together. I didn't want to have the hassle of trying to find something else. And these things look nice as a set together. There you go. That's a earring. The finishing is really good. Does this have a stone? No, this is too small for a stone. It doesn't have a stone, but it's got all of those designs and the finishing. Um, on that silver design itself. 
That's the last thing that I ordered this time and it comes in these pouches. Most of these things will make very gifts for yourself, it's useful or it'll make really good Christmas gifts and stocking fillers as well. It comes with these kind of pouches so it's really really good to give it to someone as a gift. You know people who like accessories and stuff, it'll go really well. The last one that I want to show you that I've added on to this is um, a Cartier style bracelet. I ordered this in December last year and I loved it. The quality is amazing and this is also from Amazon. I included it into this because it's designer dupes from Amazon and this is something that I bought many um, months ago, not years. It was about eight, nine months ago that I bought these. It comes with one of these crews. I got it in three different colors, the silver, the rose gold and the gold. You can wear it separately, you can mix and match and wear it together. Most of the time I've worn it together, I never really had to wear it separately at all. And each one comes with its own screw. So this is a gold one, it's come with this. You've got a screw here that you just need to screw it up to open it. If you've got really tiny wrist, you don't even need to open that up. So you open it like that and then put it through your wrist and you screw it up yourself. It's not too difficult for you to do it on your own. Um, you may or may not need someone to help you with. I usually do it on my own. Sometimes I can just slide it through my wrist without having to take it off. There you go. And it doesn't fall off. So I just slide it through my wrist and it stays there for the event or the occasion or however long I want to keep it. And then I take it off. It's a little bit oval shape. The quality and the finishing is so good is so true to the original style itself. I thought it was really, really worth including this. I can take this off and put it back in all together even and I don't even need the screw. If you've got slightly bigger wrist, I've got extremely skinny wrist, but if you've got bigger wrist, you just need to use a screw to open it and put it back on. Other than that, no fuss, no hassle whatsoever. So that's about it. The damage was done and the mess has been done as well and I just need to clear up all of these things. I really hope you enjoyed these and I really hope you find it useful. As always, I'll leave all of the links in the description box below. If you bought any of these things, if you liked any of these things, share it with me and let me know. I would love to see your purchases and I would love to see how you style each and every one of it as well. So that's about it for this video. I will see you again next week with another video. Have a good time and stay safe, don't shop too much. Be responsible when you're spending money, when you're buying stuff. I, although it looks as if I've bought a lot, I think and I plan before I spend a lot of money. I make budgets for everything and I make it work within my budget. So that's always my advice for you. I'll see you again next week. Bye.